Hello guys, welcome back to this channel. So hope everyone is fine. On that note, let's start this video. So this is week 7 programming assignment 1 of the course The Joy of Computing Using Python. So if you are new to our channel, please subscribe our channel. Definitely like this video and please share that with your friends and classmates. So now let's see the question. So given a square matrix M, write a program. So we have to write a function actually. So its name is diag calcs that means we have to calculate the diagonal right so diagonal calculation so which calculate the sum of left and right diagonals and print it respectively so i will show you the program now so copy that exactly what i have shown so so this is the first question program solution so i'm going to copy this so you can pass the video here and you can or note this or you can take a screenshot of this so actually this is the program you can pass the video here itself and take a note or you can take a picture of this and you can paste or uh, you can type it in the compiler interface so hope you have noted it if not then you can go back and watch again or you can pass the video there so now let's get back to the interface of the programming uh, compiler. So I have copied this code. I'm going to paste it here. So this is the code guys. So let me click on execution button. So there is compile and run button right. So click on that. So after clicking that, so the page has get reloaded. So here you can see compilation is passed and 4 by 4 public test cases are also passed. So actually there are 4 public test cases and all these 4 are showing the status as passed, right? So our solution is 100% correct. Now let's see these, uh, how it runs. So click on submit button so we can find how uh, it responds to the private test cases these are public test cases and now let's see the hidden test cases passed or not clicking on submit button so here so here you can see there are four private test cases also all these four are passed so our solution is 100 percent correct now let's move on to the second question So this is the second question. So programming assignment 2. So given a matrix M, write a function uh, called as transpose. So which accepts a matrix M and return the transpose of M. So transpose of a matrix is nothing but it's a matrix in which each row is changed to a column and each column is changed to a row. Both are interchange, right? So if you see here, this is the original matrix and if you interchange this 1, 4 and 7 will become 1, 4, 7 in the horizontal way like this. Here the, the vertical uh, column will become horizontal one here like that. So now I will show you the code. So please follow as it is. So this is the first question code. Now let's see the second question code guys. So this is the second question code. So you can pass the video here itself. So guys, please follow the indentation rules. So after the semicolon, you have to follow this indentation. And the for loop should be within the definition block. And the return should be uh, which is tried to the for loop. So please note this, you can pass the video here itself or you can take a screenshot of this and you can later execute that. So let me change this code now. So you will not get any errors if you do what I have shown you. I am pasting the code here. So this is the code. Now let's execute this. 
So I am clicking on compile and run button. So let's see whether it's executed or not. So here you can see the compilation is passed and 4 by 4 public test cases are also passed. Here the, it is showing passed after ignoring presentation error. Actually, it's a presentation error. So you can ignore that. And so we can ignore this presentation error. It is actually due to this uh, slash n. So here there is no slash n, right? So that's not a big problem. So our co uh, code is 100% passed. Now let's click on submit button to check private test cases. So here you can see that. So all these four private test cases are also passed. So our solution is 100% correct. Now let's move on to the final question. So this is programming assignment 3. So given a matrix M, uh, write a function snake that accepts matrix M and returns a list which contains elements in snake pattern of matrix M. So here is the code guys. This is the code you have to write. So I will show you in zoom format. So this is the code. So you can note this, you can uh, take a picture of this or you can pass the video and you can type it parallelly. So don't do any mistakes, even a single uh, dot can also give you an error. So please observe each and every character carefully and then only execute that. If there is any error, that means you, uh, it tells that you did not properly uh, type that because as I am getting the answer, then definitely you will also get the answer. So please carefully see that and correct it and follow the indentation rules guys. These are 100% correct solutions only already uh, tested. So that's why we are giving to you. Now let's get back to the interface. So now I'm going to run this code. Clicking on compile and run button. So here you can see that 4x4 four four public test cases passed. Passed after ignoring presentation error. So it's not an error. So status is passed. Now let's click on submit button. So here status is passed. So our solution is 100% correct. So friends, these are the programming assignment solutions. We have also made a video on quiz assignment. You can also watch that. So that's it guys for this video. So keep supporting us like this for, uh, till the end forever. So that's it for this video. So until the next video, goodbye. Thank you.